Hey guys, day four, Greg's Garage, 30 day challenge, August the 4th, Thursday. And I'm gonna just shoot a quick vid uh, showing you some of the cleaning techniques that I use that I find useful when I'm cleaning up a whole bunch of parts ready for paint or just rest restoration. So let's get straight into it. Okay, we're gonna be cleaning some parts, so um, we need Lots of rags. These are all just old t-shirts. Um, I've got a couple of kids, so they go through a few clothes. So old t-shirts, cotton's great. Don't um, chuck them out, cut them up and use them as cleaning rags. Of course you can buy rags, but if you've got a supply of cotton from somewhere, then use it. So I'll grab a couple of these. And let's have a look at what we've got on the bench um, in terms of being able to really dissolve uh, oil and grease that's on parts that you want to want to clean or restore. So my favorite and the product I use the most, and I don't get paid for this obviously, is just uh, WD-40 or CRC-56 or whatever it is you guys have got in your local area. Uh, I buy it in bulk because I use a lot of it. This is about $35. Uh, four liters, what's that, about a gallon for you guys in uh, the US. Um, and I just dispense it into a spray bottle like that and I use it all the time. Now I'm told that this has got fish oil in it as one of the main components so it's also really useful as a rust preventative but it also does a great job of dissolving grease um, as well. So for example let's take the bull gear here which is a bit grotty and um, we can just give it a spray and then give it a wipe and already you can see what a difference that's making. So um, quick, easy, and cheap. The other things uh, we've got on the bench here, um, just a general degreaser product. This stuff's really cheap and pretty nasty. Um, Tends to work okay, but not really very efficient in terms of dollars. So spray and wipe, probably more effective than the uh, then WD-40, as you can see there, does a good job of taking the grease off and the oil. So this is really just um, lightweight oil from the lubricant oil that I'm using on the lathe. Um, Carby and Throttle Body Cleaner does a great job of dissolving and cleaning junk. But again, this is not cheap, this stuff. Um, so you really can't clean enough, you know, a whole engine with it. Uh, but for small parts, or Carby's specifically, works pretty good. Um, same deal, so it's spray and wipe. And that does a pretty good job of dissolving grease as well. So, you know, you can see we're getting a pretty nice finish there. Um, wax and grease remover. You generally use this when you're painting, um, prior to painting. Uh, but it does a pretty good job as well. Uh, again, not necessarily very cheap, so I don't use a lot of it. Um, acetone is also uh, pretty popular. Well, for me it is. I use it for cleaning parts before I weld them. Uh, but we're talking about really pre prepping parts for a restoration. So we're going to be trying to um, remove oil and grease and things like that. So uh, WD-40 works great for small quantities. Um, gasoline uh, works great as well, but most people say it's very dangerous because it's so flammable. Well, most of this stuff's flammable. So don't use it near an open flame, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so that uh, boogie's come up pretty nicely already with not too much effort. Now, I wouldn't be leaving parts that I've just cleaned dry like this because they'll be here for a couple of weeks. Um, and if I clean all the grease and oil off them, well, the surface or the, uh, the moisture in the air is gonna get to these and potentially cause a bit of surface rust, which they're not gonna clean off again. So. Before I go anywhere, I will just do that and put this back on the bench. And in theory, that should be protected until I'm ready to do something else with it. Now, if you've got the space and the money and the amount of work, a uh, parts washer like this is also pretty handy. Um, I clean up quite a lot of parts. So this was around about $300 when I built it uh, maybe four or five years ago and it's just an import job um pretty cheap and nasty but hey it's just a tank or a tub and it's got a pump on the side um, i've added a filter on mine 
and it's just a fuel filter but it's designed to filter any of the crud that's in the bottom of the tank before it gets back to the nozzle and gets blown or washed into your clean part so I use mine with kerosene and again you'll have the safety Nazis will say oh you can't do that it's flammable well it is flammable but I don't smoke and I don't use any open flames anywhere near this tank so when I'm not using it it stays closed and uh, it works just fine. Kero is a great great solvent as is gasoline um, not particularly cheap it takes a lot of kerosene to f cover the pump on the bottom of this tank here and here in Australia the kerosene is about $60 for a 20 litre drum what's that about four or five gallons so not really cheap but very effective and I've only topped up I think I put two or three uh, drums of kerosene in it when I started and I put one more in maybe a year ago uh, just to top it up so this works okay uh, if you've got the space I don't really need one this big I can almost fit a small block chev in this tank um, I don't need one this big I could have bought the next one down which would have been perfectly adequate for motorcycle parts but if you've got the space and the money and the work to justify it then this is a way to do it that um, is quite efficient because you can use the brush and you can pump the carol over it and you can do a really good job really quickly. So that'll do it for today and I will shoot some video showing you, you know, these, uh, this equipment in use in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching.